This is the brief on Gaia BH1, the closest black hole and its surprising origin. So, astronomers have found Gaia BH1, right? It's the closest black hole we know of to Earth. But here's the thing, its properties are kind of weird, and they're making us rethink how these kinds of systems even form. First up, the discovery itself. Gaia BH1 is what we call a binary system, basically. Two things orbiting each other. It's about 1,560 light years away, which, you know, is pretty close in cosmic terms. You've got this black hole, maybe 10 times the sun's mass, doing a slow dance with a star pretty similar to our own sun, taking about 186 days to go around. We found it thanks to super precise measurements from the Gaia mission, plus some checks from telescopes back here on the ground. Okay, second point. Why is this system such a head-scratcher? Well, it's orbit. It's just not what our usual models predict for how these things should evolve together. You know, nice and quiet in isolation. Standard theories really struggle to explain how they got into this wide orbit. It's like the numbers just don't add up without making some pretty wild assumptions. So, yeah, it definitely points to a big gap in our understanding. Finally, though, there's a pretty cool possible solution. Maybe it wasn't formed in isolation at all. Think dynamical formation inside a young star cluster. New simulations show that these kinds of oddball pairs might actually form in really crowded, chaotic places like a cosmic mosh pit. Collisions, near misses, stars getting swapped around, this kind of environment could totally create a system like Gaia BH1 and then fling it out. It's a whole different way of looking at it. So Gaia BH1 isn't just our nearest black hole neighbor. It's like a cosmic clue pointing towards the wild, chaotic ways stars and black holes can partner up in crowded stellar nurseries.